up fellas. This is October 27th. I just got here. I've been working a lot, so I haven't had a chance to hunt. My old partner Johnny, he got a he got the smack down on a doe. It's on video, it'll be posted here shortly. But I'm hunting a cornfield this evening. And you see the it's got part of a cut. And last evening, up on the mountain right there, right ahead of us. I was up there yesterday, or not yesterday, a few days ago when I was off. And I could see a deer down here in this hot, right here in this cornfield, right on the edge of the field. So I thought I'd come out and give it a try to see him. So we'll see what's going on here and we'll hopefully we'll get a deer. Trying to be here. She busted me. She seen me. She couldn't win me, but she seen me. And she walked right down along the edge of the corn. Finally, I got her down below me where she's kind of walking away from me. Got the camera on and got her on, on her. Hopefully, hopefully, I made a good shot. She went out in the corn there, so I'll go track her, see if I can find her. All right, let's go see if we can round her up. shoot 
but we haven't seen none of them since season come in. There's one big wide seven point. He, he ain't got no tines, but two, three inches long. But he's about 24 inches plus wide. I mean, he's giant wide. We had him on camera last year. And by the pictures, it looks like he's at least five and a half years old or older. He's big bodied. Oh, it just looks old in the face. In the face. But, and then there's another eight point in here. I'll take either one of those. Anything else comes through, we're going to let slide. So y'all stick with us and uh, we'll see what happens. Something by me just trotting. I knew it was a deer. Come running off his trail right here by me. Running right underneath of me. He had no clue I was here, but he acted like he's running from something. Didn't have his tail up. But I don't know if there's another buck back here and run him off or what. Or what's going on there. He went on up the road around the turn there. Crunch time, boys. Uh, then I'll really start moving. Y'all stick with us. Sure, he got my wind, but there's hardly no wind at all right now. So the bucks are starting to move. Getting that time of year, boy. I'm getting barred up. Yeah, like I said, hopefully them big ones start rolling through here for long. We still got another. We still got another iron for dark. 
look here, fellas. I come out here. Here's somebody whistling. Think somebody trespassing. Here's Trevor. He's never seen nothing all day. I get out here and he's got a deer down. And we gotta go find it. Yep. Now you gotta. He didn't get to get it on video, so I just have to tell y'all what happened. So tell him what happened as we go get it. Well, I was sitting there. I felt good about today. I saw about 20 squirrels and about 100 birds sitting there. And then, then all of a sudden, all the squirrels disappeared. And I look up and uh, I think it's a three-point, not sure, came trotting in and stopped behind some brush. And, Went to stand up and he looked at me. He looked back down and I finished standing up and uh, he started walking. I said, Man, and he shot. How far was he? It's about 10 yards. Oh, that's good. All right, well, we'll go down and see if we can find him here. We'll go see if we can pick up on a trail here. It's getting dark, so it's pretty well dark. It's dark in the woods, that's why we come on out. But out here in this road, it's open, a little, a little bit light. But uh, we'll have to get the light out when we get down here and find this deer. Y'all stick with it. And this is his uh, first first buck with a bow, too. So He's doing good. It's his second deer, but first buck. So it didn't matter what size it is. His air looks good. I don't know how well you can see it in the camera, but it's definitely, yeah, he definitely got lung. I don't know. Turn it back up there. Turn the air back up there. I don't know how well it'll show up in that camera because it's getting dark, but he definitely it's definitely lung blood. Yeah, there's a bunch of... All right, we're going up here. He done trailed him down, found him, but we're going to go up here and get try to get the recovery on the video here. All right, go ahead. You lead the way, Dad. He's going back to get the truck to uh, so we can get him out of here. It's a long drag if we just drag him from here. Can we get into him from right here? thick in here. This is where this is the bed in there. This is where his deer bed at. Trevor, his stand's right all about 70 yards, 60 yards from this bedding area. There he's found him. And, uh, his deer, they lay in here. And they like laying in here. And they come out. But this one here, the way Trevor talked, was headed back to the bedding area. So, I'm not sure. But, we're almost to him here. There he lays, that looks like it might be a good sized deer. Yeah. For, first, for your first bucket, don't matter how big he is. With a bow, first buck with a bow. Oh yeah, nice shot. Old rage broadhead, boys, you can't beat him. That's a four pointer, look at that thing. Look at that hole, boys. Now that's a rage broadhead right there. Everybody says, oh, they don't penetrate, they don't penetrate. Kid's 15 years old, shooting 60 pounds, blow clear through that deer. Let's check out the, is this the entrance? Exit. This is the exit, let's check out the entrance hole. That's five point. I'm gonna hold him up here. Let's get him, get him down the road there. Give me your bow. We'll get him down the road and we'll get a better look at him here. Today was use, or this is actually, today is actually, uh, Rifle season for does, that's why we've got orange on, but Trevor, he's 15 years old and he decided he was going bow hunting. Take his bow. And uh when well, he tried to get him a buck. A lot of kids wouldn't have done that, but he did. And he got him a buck. Looks like you're just gonna have to find the way down. Just bail her down through the law brush. You make the path and I'll follow. <laughs> You shouldn't have told your mommy till we got home. Huh? Oh. You tell her it was a bus? Well, that makes three bucks we've seen today. I've seen two small bucks. I let them go. I killed several bucks with my bow, so I'm not in a hurry to kill my little ones. But for Trevor, that's his first buck with a bow, and I keep saying that, but I'm excited for him. I know he decided to get a fine get a buck with a buck. Uh, all right, now we'll get a little better. Roll him over, let's see that entrance hole. 
that wasn't bad. That's high, but you come out right, right here, on the opposite side. I mean, so you ten yards, you're shooting close. That's that's a perfect shot. Took out both lungs. Right there. I run him over and hold him up there and give me that light. And uh, snap a couple pictures here. As soon as I figure out. Oh, right there. Right there, guys, that's proof to show you that them two bucks I seen, I told you that them bucks are starting to move. They're starting to, and at least the young bucks are. I mean, them old bucks, you know, they, they're a little bit more patient. But uh, these young bucks are starting to move, so, I mean, if you're not after big racks or big antlers, but you want to kill your first buck or just kill a buck, now's the time to be in the woods because they're definitely moving. That makes three bucks we seen today, two I seen, this one here, Trevor seen, and Dad seen four deer, but I'm not sure if it uh, was them bucks or not, but uh, we'll talk to him here in a little bit and let you know, so thank y'all for watching, and uh, we're going to get this thing gutted out here, well, Trevor is, I'm not, and then uh, we'll get it out of the house and get some more pictures of it with a regular camera and uh, get her skun out, so we'll catch y'all in the next one.